Hey you, welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you are not. Guys, don't forget to press the subscribe button if you are new. I am so happy that you are here with me for this laundry motivational video. Now, not only are we going to be doing laundry in this video, but I'm also going to be doing a small little grocery haul. I actually had groceries come in on this day, so I thought I'd go ahead and put a little grocery haul in here for you. And I'm also going to be doing a little light cleaning of my floors in the living room and office area. So I'm going to get that taken care of with you guys as well. And of course, we will always come back to laundry, the never-ending story. But now I'm cleaning out my dryer vent. I love this little doodle daddy thing that I've got from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it in my description box below. But it really does help with me maintaining my dryer vent. You know because we don't want any fires going on so I also vacuum out my dryer vent which I've got a tip from my girl Crystal Renee who is an awesome youtuber by the way and she gave me the dryer tent uh, tip to also vacuum out your vent so that is also something that you guys can be doing but now I'm moving over my daughter's clothes my daughters do actually do their laundry they are 12 and 10 but I went ahead and did a little head start for them and put the clothes in the dryer for her. And now I'm moving on to my clothes. Now, as far as me and my husband's clothes, I do not separate with colors. I usually just separate with textures. But today, it's summertime. We really don't have any jeans or sweaters or anything like that. So I don't really have to separate it at all. Cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that you'll be able To win this one But she's somebody else Hey guys, so I just ordered some groceries And I thought that I would share them with you Um, let me show you I do order from like Three different places at once Sometimes four um, but today I just ordered from three. Groceries are getting crazy, as you guys know. So I do like to break up my groceries. That's the one thing I do not like to spend a lot of money on is groceries and cleaning supplies. So let me just show you a little bit of what I've gotten. I'm gonna put the groceries up and stuff and then we'll get back to laundry. All right, so over here we have Aldi. You know what, I will just take everything out. But then we have Costco. And this is Costco with the bath tissues and the toilet, I mean the toilet paper and the paper towels and eggs. And I'm gonna be reusing these to refill my juice. And then over here we have Kroger. So let me take all the groceries out. All right, so we have the Aldi section over here. And guys, yes, Aldi has a name brand, which is pretty cool. But just to go through it really quick, this is kind of the breakfast. The kiddos are out for the summer. So of course my grocery bill is higher because they're not using their school stomach. But we have microwavable pancakes. French toast sticks are really good. Frosted flakes cereal. Well, we're gonna say they're frosted flakes. Um, and then we have cookies and cream ice cream. These are microwavable sausages they can eat early in the morning and sugar. We have the Goldfish Flavor Blasted. And then we have some bacon. This bacon is so good. It reminds me of the right bacon that is at the grocery store, which is super expensive. 
Um, and then I have three different types of shredded cheeses. You just never know when you're gonna need shredded cheese. Two different types of yogurt. These have the M&Ms and the Oreo cookies. And then we have Danimal's yogurt smoothies. Got a cream cheese, cause I wanna put that in a stuffed chicken recipe. And then some fruit, which I'm going to have to clean here in a moment. I already showed you my Costco haul along with the bottled water. And this is Kroger over here, which isn't a lot either, but it's crazy how much my bill was. So this is seaweed chips. My youngest daughter loves these. And then regular chips for the, the um, normal chip eaters in the family. We have kettle corn popcorn and sweet and salty chewy granola bars. Love these little cookie packs for when I'm hungry in the middle of the night. Two things of almond milk because my kids go through milk like crazy. We've got cream of wheat and waffles. Um, some iced coffee. I'm so excited to try this. I just got some clear cups and I'm going to have to share those cups with you guys so you can see how pretty my coffee looks. Um, we have cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. I guess they didn't have the Campbell's brand, but this is just as good. And onions, a bag of onions, these microwavable uh, macaroni and cheese, and some olive oil spray. And look here, I am trying to sprout this potato and it's not working. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me. Your eyes, they glowed and filled me up. So now I am putting away the little bit of groceries that um, I did purchase this day. And y'all, oh my gosh, snacks are getting crazy um, for these kiddos at home. And so what I started to do was making them get one snack from the pantry and then a snack from the refrigerator. That way it kind of splits up kind of a little bit of healthiness versus just, you know, chips or things like that. So, you know, things that are in the refrigerator, I have cheese sticks and yogurt and fruit and peppers that they like to eat. So that just gives them different varieties of snack ideas to eat during the summer. So just a little idea, you guys, you can make them just choose one from the pantry and one from the fridge. But now, as you can see here, I'm refilling these juice bottles up, which I love because I just hate getting a glass every time I want a juice. I love just being able to grab things and just drink from them. So these little containers are from Amazon as well and they come in handy so, so much. Makes it easy for the kiddos too to go ahead and just grab a juice and go. But now that I am done with the juicing, I'm gonna clean off the cabinets and put the rest of these groceries up and then we will get back to laundry. I just love to restock toilet paper and paper towels and so I did need to move on to the guest bathroom that is here downstairs and replenish the toilet paper in here and I had to try this cute little TikTok trick that I learned on TikTok how to make your toilet paper look like a cute little flower is growing out of it and I absolutely loved it. Season we leave behind another story that's got 
while we were walking back here, did you guys see my bed? That was only a couple hours after I just made it. They had the bed a mess. They didn't you know, close the blinds. Like that is what I deal with in the summer when my kids are home. So I was just like, why even bother to make the bed? Mm. There's always this big So this is the next day and I knew that the sheets needed to be washed so I needed to go ahead and get the bedding off and get these sheets washed and go ahead and fold any laundry that I had left in the dryer which is always a constant battle in my house. There's always seems to be something in the dryer but I am getting better as far as not leaving items in the washing machine so you know baby steps. The spray that you see me using is my own little conniption little spray. Um, it has a little bit of shout in it because I had a little bit left over and I just wanted to make it last a little bit longer. So it has shout, peroxide, and vinegar, Dawn dish soap, and water all in one. So um, it really does help with stains. I haven't had any issues with it yet. So I'm, I'm hoping my little conniption is doing it better for my clothes and not damaging it but now I'm moving into the bedroom and going ahead and get these clothes folded up I just wanted to take the time to quickly introduce myself to everyone that is new here and by the way thank you so much for sticking in, in with me and hanging out with me I am so glad that you are here and I hope you stick around and get to know me my name is Ro and I have two girls like I mentioned before they are 12 one is actually about to be 13 Oh, I know, I know. It's, it's so sad. She's about to be a teenager. But anywho, um, I have her and then I have a 10-year-old daughter. And then I also have a bonus son that comes down for the summer as well. So I have a house full of kids that are eating up everything that is edible. So yeah, that's what's going on this summer. And I actually work from home along with my husband. So it's pretty nice that we get to hang out with each other all day and even just us all being here as a family to be able to hang out with each other. Um, even on our breaks, after work, we go swimming, we have movie nights. We just really try to make the best out of this hot, hot summer here in Texas. But um, I also have my own organizational business called Control Chaos. So that is my absolute hobby along with YouTube. And those are just things that I love to do. So if you guys enjoy the video, I always do laundry motivational video, but I will also have a little something in between. But now I'm taking you into my front room area and showing you how dirty these floors are. They were horrible and really needed to be vacuumed and mopped as well. vacuuming I noticed that my auntie needed some water so I had to 
stop and give her some water. That's pretty much how I water my plants is they tell me that they need some water by looking sad and droopy. But that has always been the way that I've taken care of plants and they have not ever just died. So, so far so good. I'm doing good. And yes, I did call my plant auntie. That is my plant's name because it did come from my aunt's funeral. Um, that actually plant is the one plant that has made me really, really start plants, like loving plants and wanting to keep them in my home and outside of my house as well. So um, it was just very meaningful to me. So it was very important for me to keep it alive. And so I've had it for going on two years now and I think I've been doing a good job. So it's been very motivating for me to be a plant mommy. But now I had to go ahead and get that picture rehung and then I need to get this sofa together which guys I am totally going to have to get a new sofa because if you were here a few videos ago I ended up washing my sofa cushions and they actually shrunk so now there's like a probably the length of my arm like a big space in the sofa so when you sit down on it you kind of fall into the sofa so that's pretty sad. I've been trying to make it stretch. The sofa seats to stretch, but nothing seems to work. So if y'all have any ideas, please let me know. But as you can see, I am now steam mopping the living room and I love the way the steam mop made my floors look. Normally I use just a regular mop and then I use the wood cleaner from Target but this time I really didn't even have to use it and the floors turned out really really nice and they end up drying really really fast there's my husband telling me oh those floors look really good I'm like yeah this is what your wife does she makes the floors look good <laughs> So guys, we are now coming to the end of the video. And once again, thank you so much for being here. Please do not forget to push the like button. That lets me know to keep doing what I'm doing because you like me. Also, don't forget to say hi in the comments and push subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Until next time, bye-bye.